Hey guys, it's Jack here from Instant Shifts and I'm going to show you a how to of how to make Technic Pack work on your computer because a lot of people have problems because they haven't got enough RAM and other problems like that. So, anyway, first just go onto the Technic Pack website which is there. Everything that I do will be in the description so if you get lost along the way just go back onto that if you want. All right. Go on Tech It, scroll down, a nice creeper getting everything shoved up, yeah. Um, anyway, um, right, first you need the client, which you just click and download, that's pretty much it for that. And if you scroll down, there's all these different worlds, converters and what have you for different servers. Anyway. And the one you want would be the latest, which is for me is 2.1.1. .1. And just click there to download. Okay? If you've got older worlds, which are from 1.1.4 to 2.1, if you want them to convert them to any of these, just click on that. If you've got an old version of Technic or TechIt, whichever, just download that and it will just update them all for you for the new IDs. Alright. And I'll show you how to set up the server first and then start up your client. Alright. Alright guys. There's the server. All started out and ready to go. Okay. First, pretty simply, click launch. You now this won't work for me, but because I haven't got enough RAM. But for you, it will come up slightly different. So, this is what you should get if you get an error. There we are. I got this error. Could not, blah blah blah, whatever. It doesn't work. Alright, to resolve that, all you do, it will be in the description if you can't bother just writing it down. Put in this code that will be on the screen now. Okay? Just put that in, it'll be about there. Yeah, just input that, and I'll show you what to do next. Right, if I just open this up just to show you, that's now what you should have inside it, okay? Which I showed you a minute ago. Right, well, that's basically done. I think it had 3G there and 1G there, which is gigabytes. But like mine, it won't run that much because I haven't got that much in the computer, so. This is basic how it should work now. Okay. So, double click on that. And as you can see, it just starts uploading everything, making all new files, etc. Okay. And now it's just making all the levels, which will take just a couple of minutes, so just bear with me. Do, 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 do. And then after this, all you'd have to do, well, this is it pretty much for the server based. And if you get any problems with this, just message me and I'll try and help you through it, because this should be it for the server. Just loads everything up and whatever. And then after I finish all this and made a new client, I will show you how everything works. Pretty simply. Oh, and you may have to. If you really want a server running on a computer, you might have to just alter some of your internet hub settings just so it allows the ports to be forwarded to your computer, which is simple enough to do. Alright, that server is now up and running. I'm just going to stop it for now because I'm not using it. Just save a bit of space and sort everything out. Right, that's sorted. And here's everything just sorted out for you. And if you just click on properties file here, this server one, here's all your oh, service properties. Here, if you change that to like flat, you'll get the flat one or whatever. Make your own seed up as you wish. Server IP, for me I just leave that, but if you've got it going to somewhere else, just put where it is. That's just, this is just normally. Zero is peaceful, one easy. 2, medium, whatever you want to call it, 3, hard, 4, hardcore, okay, 
Game mode 0 is survival, 1 is creative. Again, how many players you want to join, spawning monsters, your view distance, whatever. And then as you got your name of the server, which will come up at the bottom of the screen. So I'll just put in this to instant shift. Right. Oops. After you've done that, all you got to do then is open up the open up the server. Not server. The client, which is just here on mine. Just double click that. Okay, it will check the launcher and it will just boot up. Okay, there we go. There's my little guy, and I've already got this installed so it remembers everything else. You can choose Tech It, Technic Pack instead, but Tech It's what you need if you want to do, um, do it on a server. I've also got the Yog Box and Vanilla, which is just ordinary Minecraft. So anyway, I'll go on to Tech It, that's what we are. Oh, if you get a problem, like, loading or any of this, like, loading Tech It up, change memory to allocate to the minimum, which is 512, which I've always had to do. Keep yours on recommended builds, because I go on development, but it's very buggy at times, so stay away from that if you're not used to this at all. Okay. Right. Just log in. As you can see, it connects and checks Minecraft for updates and also tech it for updates. So it updates itself so you don't need to. Apart from the server which you'll have to keep on checking regular on the Technic Pack website. <coughs> right, it is now loaded. As you can see just loading on Mojang here. Right, Minecraft has now finally wanted to load up. Sorry about that, it takes its time on my computer because it's very slow. Right, so you can easily just play in single player if you wanted to. Make your own world, which I've already got there, which is just a little project that I'm working on. And this is my server inside, which I can't connect to right now. Because I forgot to put my server on, so one second. Right, now it's reloaded this. You can see instant shifts, which is what I put my little IP address. Oh, yeah, by the way, if you try using an IP address, it won't work on your computer to get onto our servers. This is just my internal one. And 192.168.0 is pretty much everyone's IP address internal on their computers. So yeah. Right, there we go. Can hear the wind going. And I am now in the computer. Uh, now in the server pattern. Right. And that's pretty much it. If you get any problems or anything just well, inbox or uh, whatever you want to do on YouTube and yeah I'll just end it on this note which I'm sure everyone will love oh yeah these don't have too many items like that but it's actually not it's too something different I can't honestly remember the name I'm going to turn my sounds down because that is incredibly loud. There we go. Hey, I'm sound on. Right. And I have a little present just to end this. Yeah. This is kind of like what happens on most of my other servers. I build my deck good. I get bored. I make a line of nukes. Or I make a reactor, forget to sufficiently cool it, and it blows up and I have to just start all the way over again. Yeah, it's honestly a great joy. I won't be using this server, so 
takes about 30 seconds or something just for this to explode. And the server will probably lag, but ah uh, well, it's only me on it and I don't really care. Come on. Blow up. Shouldn't really take that long now. And no, oh, there we go. There we go, it starts. My game temporarily spazzed out then for a second. Yeah. It's still quite laggy and not much has actually loaded. But I don't know how many nukes I just used, but I don't think it was that many. And you've just got this wall of destruction everywhere. So yeah. If I ever do make a server that users can actually go on, because I've heard many people ask if they can go on my YouTube videos and stuff like that, and I'm sorry guys, but unless we, well, we're in love with you basically. If we love you, you will get on one of our servers, but it's not very likely at the moment. We may make a server where users can come on and just piss about like this. But nukes won't be involved on that. So, until next time guys, I'll see you later.